Nowadays, you can get the slipper clutch as a standard equipment on almost all kinds of motorcycles. From big bore cruisers and high performance superbikes to beginner bikes like Kawasaki Ninja 300, KTM RC390, Yamaha R3, etc. Like the quick shifter, the slipper clutch is not just a gimmick to show off. In fact, this one is a necessary equipment had to have in modern day big bikes. The slipper clutch can provide a huge contribution in enhancing the safety and rider experience. Unlike the big bikes from 70s and 80s, the modern day super bikes are powered by big 4 stroke engines which are notorious for its engine braking effect. When you are cruising in the city or just tugging along in the highway, the engine braking is not a big issue. But if you are high in adrenaline and ripping around in the canyons, the engine braking has the potential to send you right into the hands of Yamadeo. You might think how. Suppose you accidentally missed the corner and approached it way faster than you should be. At that time, the normal reflex of a rider will force him to brake as hard as possible and downshift as many gears as possible. When you are banging down through gears in a desperate attempt to not to crash, the back torque generated as a result of engine braking will cause the rear wheel to hop, shatter and ultimately to lose traction. Also during those panic downshifts, the chance of transmission failure is high and it will lead to engine seizure. In a bike with a normal clutch, that will result in a complete wheel lock and can have catastrophic results. But before going any deeper, let me give you a brief description about the engine braking. When you roll off the throttle, the throttle valve that controls the intake airflow is closed and the airflow through the intake is greatly restricted but not completely cut off. This causes a high manifold vacuum which the pistons have to work against. This consumes a lot of energy and that's where the majority of the engine braking force comes from. Now we got that out of the way, let's talk about the slipper clutch. The main difference between slipper clutch and the normal clutch lies in the design of clutch hub and pressure plate. In the most basic form, the slipper clutch has a set of ramps built into the clutch hub and pressure plate. When you downshift aggressively, the engine will decelerate quickly causing a hard engine braking. At this point, the rear wheel will try to turn over the engine because it will be still spinning at a higher speed. This generates a huge force or otherwise known as back torque which will transmit it to the clutch pack via final drive and transmission. To avoid this, the ramps on the clutch hub and the pressure plate will force together and slide upon each other, pushing the pressure plate away from the clutch pack. This reduces the frictional force in the clutch plates and allows them to slip on each other until the back torque is eliminated. In the latest form, the slipper clutch also have an additional assist function too. In addition to the earlier mentioned ramps, it has another set of ramps built into it which forces the clutch plate in to provide additional force during hard acceleration. This avoids any kind of slip and thereby eliminating the chance of power loss. This allows the manufacturer to use a lighter clutch springs which gives the rider a lighter clutch pull. So there you go, that's how a super clutch works. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe. A comment would be much appreciated. See you guys next time. God bless.